All right, I'm looking at another Fibble today. Um, if you're not familiar with Fibble, this is like Wordle, except on every row, one of the clues is a lie. Now, last time I did a self-imposed hard mode where every guess had to be a possible solution. So it had to fit with, you know, if there was one lie on all the lines. Uh, and I actually ended up not doing that properly, but I tried to. Uh, and somebody suggested that what I should try to do instead is uh, solve it as if, um, as if it wasn't lies, as if there weren't lies, until I get to where I think I've got the answer. Um, so basically, assume there's no lies and solve it like a normal Wordle until I know the answer, which I thought was an interesting idea. So I'm gonna do that. Um, so, uh, normally I'd like to repeat, uh, repeat letters. So I would do something like craze probably here to try and find some contradictions and figure out where the lies are. But I can't do craze because if it was a normal wordle, it would have to have the Y, it would have to have an A. We could do AY, something like this, or CA, you know, something like cabby. No, carry, let's do carry, because that gives us a couple of chances for a contradiction here with the R. Yeah, let's do carry. And that's, oh, that's not possible, no, but in, okay, because we can't do the gray, right, right, right. I'm so used to the fibble, normal fibble strategies. Um, so if it was a normal wordle, we wouldn't be able to guess the gray R. I mean, we'd be able to, but we, you know, obviously the idea is to do it uh, as like with wordle hard mode. Um, we could do KG. That seems decent. Let's try that. Okay. So, all right. So one of these two Y's is a lie, which means the C is true. Uh, whichever whichever one of those two is the lie, on that row, the C will have to be true, so it has to be true in both places. Now, interesting. Now, the A, all, I, I feel like the A is probably true, but um, not necessarily. So let's say this was the lie, right? The yellow A would have to be true. But that wouldn't necessarily make this one true. This could be a lie, and it could be that it's yellow again, right? If the yellow A is true, then we know there is an A, but this could be a lie and it's supposed to be yellow. And if this one is a lie, this is true. Which means this is probably true then. Because otherwise, I mean, the only way this could be a lie, if the green is true, the only way the yellow could be a lie is if it's supposed to be green. It can't be this supposed to be gray, but it's not going to be A A. I don't think so. If the gray Y is a lie, both A's are probably true. If the green Y is a lie, they're still they're still probably both true, but not necessarily. Okay. So we don't know much yet. We know we know there is an A. Because one of the two A's has to be true. Because one of the lies is true. So there is an A in the word. Probably second. And we're going to assume it's second right now anyways. Because we're playing it like normal Wordle at this point. So we need to have... Oh, but actually, well... Ah, now here's a question. How do we play it like normal Wordle? Because we now have conflicting clues. We have a green Y and a gray Y. Okay, I'm going to play it. Um, I'm going to say we're going off the last guess. That's what I'm gonna say, because we're gonna get conflicting clues, and you, you, yeah, so we don't have to use the Y. Actually, we can't use a Y, is essentially what that means. So, probably an E at the end. If we were just going off the KG one, we would have to do it this way. Um, we could do something like cash. That's pretty good. That that gets us another opportunity to get a, a contradiction, and once we have a con, you know, once we know there's a lie, it makes it easier, because that gives you things you know for sure as well. So let's do cash. Okay, we know this is true. This is probably true. Okay, we've got a conflict right here though. Look at this, between the A's. Interesting, we've now had a yellow, a green, and a gray. So, wait, we know this is a lie because we know there is an A because the yellow or the green has to be true, one of them at least. So this is the lie. So these are all true. Now, doesn't mean that this E is necessarily true, but if it's a lie, then it's supposed to be green. So we know there is an E in the word. And it's not at the, okay, so it's not at the end. So 
if the yellow, if this yellow E is true, and the green A is true, it would have to be C A E. And if the yellow E here is true, and the green A is true, then the G or the Y has to be a lie, which means there's a G or a Y in the word. And so it would probably be the Y like that. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. So I think this yellow E is not true. I think this is the lie. I'm gonna mark it as a, um, I think it's a lie. You can do, so you can click to mark it with a flag. You can right click to, to mark it, which I use to mean true. Um, or you can you can flag it and right click it, which gives it this other marking. So I'm gonna say I think that's a lie. Um, and so I think I think I think it's something like this actually. E Y. I think the, the, the no because if the if the yellow E is a lie, then the gray Y is true. So I'm thinking something like this though. So. Um, Maybe E D, uh, something like. Hmm, what would that be? I mean, haste would work. Not necessarily E D. It could be something E S. Capes. Uh, canes. There's lots of things it could be. Ah, now interestingly though, the from our rules. Um, we have to solve it like Wordle based, I'm, I'm going off of the last guess, because again, we've got conflicting A's, we've got conflicting Y's. So I'm just gonna go based off of our most recent information. So, most recent information says there's no A. So, we could do copes. Or, no, let's do codes. I like codes better, because I was thinking S or D at the end. And that would work with our um, self-imposed rules. Let's go with that. Okay, well we know this is the lie. So the rest of these are true, which means this is not a lie, this is true. Ooh, interesting. So maybe this this green A is a lie and the A is not second, because if the A, if the green A is true, it has to be C A E. I don't know what. And, and, again, if the A is true, then the G or the Y has to be like, we have to have a G or a Y. No, I think, the, I think the green A, now I think the green A is the lie. Which would make the gray Y true, so we would have an E and an A. And that would mean that this yellow A is true. So we'd have an A fourth or fifth, so something like, like this, like, cedar or something but not not cedar or the e could be third uh it could be here too actually like like something like clear but there's no there's no r i mean going off of the a being the lie here that means the y is true which means the green y is a lie which means the gray R is true. Uh, cleat would work. Clean, clean, clean's pretty good. Now we can't guess clean right now because there's lots of things it could be still, so I don't feel confident enough to say we're definitely guessing the the lied, the, the answer. So we can't do, we've gotta do an E and a C in different places. Cause again, I'm going off the most recent information here which is gray Y, gray A, yellow E in two places, yellow C, and a gray C here. So I'm basically, I'm saying where there's a contradiction, we have to use the the more, more recent one. Um, not just the last guess, but I don't know. I mean, I'm just making it up. There's no, this isn't a, an actual mode of the game, so we can do whatever we want, but. Hmm, interesting. So if we did the C second, we wouldn't be able to do SC because we've got the gray S, so. But we need to do an E, not at the end, so maybe CT, something C, something ECT. We could do, oh, I was gonna say, uh, we could do elect. We could do elect, 
which gives us two places that we could potentially get contradiction. And we don't know where for sure where the E is yet anyways. I mean, I was thinking E-A, C-L-E-A, but we don't know. The E could be second, although we're not checking second. But, but we know the C is at the beginning, so we could potentially get a kind I don't know, it's a couple places for contradictions. Let's go with that. That seems good. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Okay, that's good cuz we know this is a lie. So these are all true. And so that fits C L E and then we need to have an A. So I think here, so what's it going to be? It can't be cleat, it can't be clear. I think it's going to be clean. Yeah, I think it has to be clean. So, we're abandoning the solve it like a normal wordle. And we're going for the answer, so uh, according to the challenge, I would then fail the challenge if this is not the answer. But we still got a few guesses to actually solve the fibble if it's not the answer. But I think it's going to be clean. Let's go for it. All right, it was clean. There we go. All right. That is kind of tricky trying to guess. Uh, so it kind of makes your brain work extra hard a little bit because you're trying to think about the lies but make guesses based on there being no lies. And so you kind of have to think about it both ways, which is a little bit tricky. But anyways, there you go. Let me know how you did with this fibble um, and if you solved the answer cleanly and how many guesses it took. And be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Here's an interesting question. Which song has spent the most time at number two on the Billboard Top 100 without oh, okay. making it oh, to number one? That was really one. good. On the left, awesome. Ballet over here. Okay, it is L and T, just like I was thinking. Now, alf alphabet. Alphabet. There we go. That's a good one.